All right. Let's understand why is the internal electric field of a metal zero? Essentially, what I'm asking is, the question necessarily means is a metal block. So any internal point of a metal block will have a net zero electric field. But it's, well, you might think that <coughs> by default, <coughs> there is some magic which actually makes the internal electric field zero no in the steady state actually this thing happens in a steady state steady state right so what does that mean let's suppose this is a metal block that i have correct and let me just apply an electric field let me just shade out shade this face and shade this face Right. We are only considered about these two phases, right? Let's let's call them phase A and let's call it phase B. Now imagine that I'm applying that I'm applying an electric field uh, that would have a color, let's say like this. The electric field, the applied electric field, is in this direction. Okay. So in this case, what really happens is, imagine that this is the applied electric field E A. So what happens? when the applied electric field Ea exists through the metal block from A towards B, there are free electrons inside this, right? There are, a metal basically consists of a lot of free electrons, right? So a lot of free electrons are there. I'm only indicating a few. So these free electrons will experience a force because of this external electric field. We know that the electric force on a charge is given by the charge multiplied by the electric field, right? But since electrons are negatively charged, the force that they experience would be negative into the charge magnitude of an electron, then the electric field, right? So essentially, the, the force that the electrons, every electron here would face will be towards the phase A, right? And thus, every free electron, free doesn't mean extra, that means the, the metal is electrically neutral. That means it doesn't have an excess amount of electrons. It only has a lot of electrons which are able to move freely anywhere within the metal body. That means after some time, which actually is, is basically a very small fraction of a second, there will be a buildup of negative charges on this phase A and positive charges on the phase B, right? So basically, an induction will happen, right? An induced charge separation will happen. That will lead to an internal or induced, let me draw a shape, an induced electric field. Uh, rather, I will uh, an induced electric field from B to A, right? Like this. So let's call this the induced electric field, right? E, I, N, D. So the, is this induced electric field, which is, we know electric field is always from the positive charge concentration to the negative charge concentration, right? So essentially, what has happened here? Now, there is an applied electric field and there is an induced electric field. Now, as long as applied electric field the magnitude is greater than is greater than the induced electric field that means a net field will exist that will be ea minus e induced and that will free from a towards b so as long as this field exists electrons will keep on moving under the influence of this decreasing net electric field and more and more negative charge will be building up here and more and more positive charge will be building up here. However, overall the block will have zero charge, right? Overall the block will have zero charge. It will still remain electrically neutral overall, but on phase A there will be negative charge building and on phase B there will be positive charge building, right? It will happen, it will, it will keep on happening. This is a transient state, right? This is the, so basically as long as the E net is not equal to zero, you will have a transient state. Once 
the induced electric field the induced electric field becomes equal to the applied electric field the net field e net will become zero right so when e net becomes zero the electric force on every free electron inside the metal would also be zero electric force right but there would be some charges which will still be in motion right so what will happen that they they basically would would uh, be you know moving across this surface across the surface so the net field inside this block inside the block at any point the net field inside the block inside the block will be zero so now we understand how the entire mechanism takes place and once this this happens this is called the steady state steady state means when the after applying the external electric field the electric field inside the e internal or e net inside the metal becomes zero so from ea to this stage you will have a state which is called the transient state and uh, <coughs> once the uh, once enough charge a separation has taken place across the faces opposite faces corresponding to the direction of the electric field you will have a net zero field inside the metal that will be all